Hey there folks, Luke here with the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you're all doing well. Today for this episode we have a quick response episode. Directly in front of you, you have two FILBE assault packs. You have the Corman pack, which is basically a larger size medical pack. And then you have the regular assault pack. Now, I've received a number of requests to show off these two packs, to compare them, so you guys can actually see the differences firsthand. From a distance, these packs look extremely similar. But once you open them up and kind of really stretch them out, that's where the similarities end. These are two very, very different sorts of packs. So without any delay, let's go ahead and get started. Now with both of these systems, they are complete. You have all the pouches that belong with each of the packs. So you have the optional assault pouch here on top, connected, for the regular FILBE assault pack. For the Corman pack, you do have all of the additional pouches and pockets and all that good stuff. So you have this one here on the front and you also have all the others on the inside. Now before we dive into these packs and really start going over everything, let's go ahead and do a weight check. Let's see what the differences are. So we'll go ahead and start here with the typical assault pack. So I just put these bad boys on a scale and basically what you're looking at for the regular assault pack with the one pouch, that comes in at four pounds, two ounces. Now for the Corman pack with all of the pouches, including the one here on the front, you are looking at six pounds, seven ounces. So there's definitely a good difference in weight between the two, which makes absolute sense since this Corman pack is bigger and features more pouches. For the sake of this comparison, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this front pouch so you can really see the full face of this pack here. Now, you can easily see that there are some big differences. With the Corman pack, it's just one solid face. You have tons of webbing right here. And with this assault pack, you have a separate pocket down here and with more webbing up top. As mentioned, that is an additional pouch which I have on here and I'm not gonna take that off. Now, of course, these packs do have a lot of similarities. You're looking at lots of webbing on each. You also have two compression straps on each side, top and down at the bottom. You have the same padded harnesses, adjustable sternum straps, all that good stuff. With the Corman pack, you do have a waist belt, just a nylon strap, and you have that same waist belt on the assault pack. When it comes to the padding, you have the exact same thing on both packs. You have the two big pieces of foam on the sides with a gap in the middle for airflow. You also have access to go behind those padded areas on both packs. You also have quick release buckles on both systems. Going to the tops here, you have drag handles on both. You also have Velcro port covers, you have your antennas coming out of here, your hydration hoses, whatever you want exactly the same thing on both. Now when it comes to the bottom of these packs, you're starting to see some major differences here. Yes, you do have two compression straps on both sides for both of these packs. Now, on the regular assault pack, you have some webbing and you also have a drainage hole. On the Corman pack, yes, you do have a drainage hole, but you also have an additional pocket that is not on the regular assault pack. And it's with this pocket right here that this pack becomes a whole lot larger than the regular assault pack. It becomes a whole lot longer indeed. I'll go ahead and give you a top-down perspective there. You can see just how much larger, how much longer the Corman pack is to the assault pack. Now before we go to the inside, let's go ahead and touch upon the front. So on the Corman pack, you have one solid front here of just nothing but webbing. So you can attach whatever you want to. With the assault pack, you have webbing up here on top. I have that pouch attached. But down here, you actually have one pocket. With more webbing, you have some Velcro here across the top. You do not have that Velcro on the Corman pack. So now that we've looked at the front of these packs, we looked at the sides, the back, the top, the bottom, let's go to the inside. The assault pack is opened, and now the Corman pack 
is open. With the Corman pack, it's absolutely packed full of different pouches and pockets, all that stuff. It's also lined with Velcro. On the sides, on the back, it's also on the lid all the way down. I will go ahead and remove all those pouches so that you can take a look at this pack naked. Now with the Assault Pack, you have a long zipper on one side and a short zipper on the other side. The lid does not fully open all the way down because of that. On the inside, you have a zipper that gives you access to the plastic frame sheet. You have the same thing with the Corman Pack. With the Assault Pack, you have pockets on the sides. You also have a sleeve here in the middle. And then on the lid, you have a number of additional zipper pockets and so on. With the Corman Pack, you do not have that. You have nothing but a blank canvas. Solid Velcro. You do have access to that frame sheet like I mentioned. On the lid, you do have one zipper, which gives you access to the back side of this lid, it also has a piece of foam in it to kind of keep it rigid. And that is it. It should be mentioned that both of these packs do have the exact same zippers. Thank goodness, because those are definitely high quality. Now with these two systems here, I've been asked, how would I describe these in layman terms as far as backpacking goes? Now, I would have to say that the Assault Pack is a great overnight bag. You. I mean, this is technically a three-day assault pack, but really, I mean, it's fairly small. You're not going to fit a whole lot in it. So if you're going to be going out on a multiple-day trip, you're going to have to be going very, very lean in regards to your gear, very, very light. With the Corman pack, I would say that this really is a multiple-day pack. There's definitely a lot more room. You also have a little bit of space down here at the very bottom where you could possibly put a sleeping bag, a blanket, something like that. But certainly, there is a difference in size here. Smaller, larger, lighter, heavier. So my friends, for our look and comparison of the FILBE Corman Pack to the Assault Pack, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any further questions for me, please feel free, drop me a line, let me know. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys around. Strength and honor, everybody. Be well.